Yeah, they, I'm, they, we're going to get into this match right now. Peach Palutena. Once again, a battle of... Uh, Princess and Goddess. Yeah, the, the battle of uh, the royal treasury against religion. So yeah. we shall see how this works out here. And like I said, I, I still feel like the jury's out on this matchup. Like, uh, like Peach is very good, but I feel like Palutena is good at just keeping... You know, uh, just like throwing out hitboxes in front of her in the air. Yeah. She's obviously good. Like air to air, Palutena probably has some of the best tools to compete mm -hmm. with Peach. Yeah, but especially with that back air being invincible. Not as invincible as Smash 4, but still, nonetheless, <laughs> it's invincible. When you say not as invincible, it just sounds very funny. <laughs> what, what is not as invincible? Just, it's, it's still invincible? Like, yeah, just the invincibility doesn't last as long. All right. So right now, we just see Odyssey like having complete control so far. Explosively going to catch the regular get up and almost enough to kill outright, but. And this is, uh, like I said, like not only can uh, Palutena like, compete air to air, uh, you know, with Peach, uh, but because of stuff like auto reticle and explosive flame, she's able to keep up like a very, very, uh, a very good wall in front of her, making it hard for Peach to approach. Good for the up no. throw. Not yet. Yeah, I feel like they sucked out all the kill power from her other throws and put it completely on her back throw. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think she needs it, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so back throw, or excuse me, back air gets the job done. So uh, very, very strong first stock from Odyssey. Let's see how Ling Ling responds. Oh, that was a good tech. Yeah, yeah so this... Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I was going to say, so far the response from Ling Ling has been pretty good so far. Yeah, this is also like the first time I think we've seen Pokemon Stadium 2. As, yeah. as in our rule set, you can pick Stadium 1 or 2 or Unova. They're all like lumped together. Huh. I hope you guys like Pokemon, is what I said. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's see how. Uh, yeah, Ling Ling's still trying to get the stock off right now. Uh, continue to fight. Odyssey again, uh, kind of putting the brakes on a little bit, not having to work as hard. Ooh, almost getting the turnip uh, snipe right there. Oh, wow, good DI from Odyssey, living that back air. Oh, okay. Jeez, man. I feel like after that <laughs> spot, dodge, Odyssey had a chance to go for the shield grab. Getting out of disadvantage is so hard. Yeah, it's really or hard. Or at least out of the corner against Peach. Like, but Palutena can't just like set up and like, you know, Peach has time to react. That's definitely where I feel like things can get scary for her, but Ling Ling's still having a hard time getting this first stock off. Oh, okay, yeah. That was a good, like, fade back from Ling Ling to sort of bait him approaching, and then he just responded with a forward yeah, air. Yeah, I feel like everybody's game plan against Peach should just be like, how can I avoid getting hit by forward air for as long as I humanly can? Yeah, and, and how, how can I punish it? Yeah. That's also an important part, too. Dude, she hits you with the spiky end of the crown, man. That, that, that hurts. Yeah, I imagine it would hurt. Like, if it was a dull end, it'd be fine, but... All right, needless to say, Odyssey's built up a very, very good lead here. Uh, he's just one or two strong hits away, uh, you know, from closing this out. And just land the explosive flame, forcing uh, a higher angle of approach from Ling Ling. Giving him time, more time to react to whatever Peach is probably going to nope. throw at him. Dude. Yeah, that explosive flame hitbox, like, the final hit is a lot bigger than, like, the, the smaller hits. So it can sometimes catch you off guard. Dipped your toe in the water for just a little too long. Basically. Except the water is a giant magical ball yeah. of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Magic is weird. That's right, so needless to say, Ling Ling's still having a, a lot of ground to make up against Odyssey right now. But continuing to fight right now, like I said, if you, you know, aren't paying attention, Peach should rack up damage very, very quickly. Yeah, avoiding the short hop multiplier with her floats. Crime. Ooh, good use of the, uh, the auto reticle right there. He's buying yeah. up some time on landing. That's also another one of Palutena's moves. I'm glad it's good in this game. Once again, much better than nah, actually. Auto reticle was okay, kid. Because rising. Yeah, I mean, it played it played like half the game for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good parry, but not in a position to get a punish out of it. Can just continue to kite around right now. Oh, what the, that was crazy! That was a crazy read Ozzy was going for. He got it though, just a little, uh, you know, short on you know, the killing end of it. <laughs> he did walk forward menacingly. Oh, he goes deep for that back air and takes the 
game one. Yep, two stock coming out from Odyssey. Uh, looking very comfy for a large majority of that. All right, I think I'm switching off for Cassius. I'll see you. Thank you for commenting with me. See you next time, buddy. All right. Let's <laughs> right, so we're gonna get a, a change, uh, a pitching change mid set. So, all right, all right, what's going on, man? I was like, on, I can't man? hear myself. Oh, the whole, the whole thing. You coming in or not? Oh, all right. Yeah, word. What's going on, man? Nothing, man. Just playing Kingdom Hearts 3. I <laughs> I literally came here and went like 2-2, two and two and I was like, that. I'm out. <laughs> I haven't played Ultimate since like the middle of January. Yeah, so like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally <laughs> playing Wolf. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway. I feel that. Game 3. This is Game 2. Oh, Game 2. Oh, excuse yeah. me. Oh, so Adi's in a good spot then. Yeah, he, he was in like control for a large majority of that last game. Like... He cat out to a really strong start, and uh, William just wasn't able to rebound for it. I'm not sure what the change that the Daisy's gonna do, except for like some more dramatic music and like a better looking dress, and or just like a more uh, vocal female. Yo, yo I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. man. Yo, shout out to redheads, of course, like for real. But yeah, I don't know. So right now, uh, I, I still feel like the jury's out on this matchup because, like I was saying to Eric Gordon, I feel like Palutena has some of the best tools to fight Peach like air to air. Yeah, that's where definitely. Peach really like blows up a lot of characters, and also like. Uh, auto reticle and explosive flame just make it like even harder for Peach to kind of like uh, horizontally approach you. Exactly. They're good like spots where you can like make this zone not, you know, yeah, possible for you Peach. You cannot cross yeah, exa here. Exactly. You cannot park in the white zone. Exactly. And so when Peach wants to go in the air, you just hit her with a back air. It's invincible, yeah. you know. Exactly. But right now, Ling Ling, it looks like he's kind of slowed down the pace a little bit. He's, he's picking and choosing his, uh, his approach options a yeah. little bit smarter. That was a little odd that he parried it, and he tried to go for a float cancel near, and it didn't. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> That's the worst. I hate when that happens. Just one <laughs> one tap, one love tap, and you just die. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, it's, the, it's the killing touch, man. Of course. I think he has a s stitch face in his hand. Okay. Danger is upon us. Yeah, Ling Ling's pulls have been very, very good. He's gotten, like, two bombs oh, wow. like, so far, like, within the same set. So it's just like, right. dang. Should run a lotto ticket, then. Yeah. <laughs> It's about that time. Yeah, man. Get your girl like Daisy and Peach. Like, they lucky. Wow. Yeah, that was really good spacing on, on the uh, the back air right Yeah, there. he like maneuvered back also and then got the Peach uh, Daisy Bomb or whatever yeah. it's called. I actually Different. don't know what it's called. For Daisy. Yeah. yeah. But for Peach, it's Peach Bomber, but I don't, I don't know if it's, you know, a different thing. You, you, you think they keep it consistent, but... Like, flowers and petals or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> All right, so Lingling continuing to fight right now, and now he's the one with the very, very uh, strong lead right now. Yeah. It's, he's about to overlap him in percent. He's doing really well. Wow. There we go. Maybe the platform layout will help. Yeah, absolutely. Know? I feel like like static platforms really like benefit a character like Peach well. Like, did you see her dress like yeah. move back when she did down throw? <laughs> it's all leg. Like, who are you? <laughs> Not in my e yeah. rated E10 and up game. Yeah, I'm saying, man. You know, Zero Suit Samus in subspace is the only reason Brawl got that teen rating. Exactly. She, she comes down from the vent. So... You know, I see you, Nintendo. All right. Adi's definitely running it back. Yeah, that's the thing about Palutena. Like, she's another one of those characters that's really good at just, like, putting on the brakes and also, like, going 0 to 60. And it just comes right back. Yeah. There we uh, go. I don't know if he, he – it seemed like he tried to parry it because he yeah. just stood there and just dropped the shield. So that could be – but that's a pretty hefty price to pay if you mess it up. Yeah, and that, that's what I, I really liked about, like, the risk award of the parries in general. Like, it makes you have to think a little bit more. Um, but also fighting projectile characters is the bane of my existence. Of course, yeah, because now you can't actually perfect shield things. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue to add on to this lead right now. The side B is going to do some good damage. Odyssey has him on the ledge here. Let's see how he goes for the ledge trap. He's been getting good mileage out of that jump back air. Like, he will just straight up have just been getting hit by it. Like, I mean, it's a good option to cover because no one's really going to do get up attack anymore, and everyone's been punishing regular get up for years. Yeah. But that down tilt fair almost taking it. Ooh, he almost got pinned by that turnip, too. <laughs> yeah, he got Tokyo with that earlier today. Like, the, the aim on these turnips have been pristine from Ling Ling. And they're so much better, too. Like, he was doing PK Thunder, and he got hit out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's nuts. This is pretty much Ling Ling's game to take at this point. Yeah, unless, like, something crazy happens. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're probably going to be seeing a game three here. Yeah, any of Peach's aerials. I mean, da sorry, Daisy's aerials yeah. will <laughs> take it. Back throw, Okay. Not going to be enough to kill, but still has the turn up in hand. Nice flame. Are you going to make it back? Awesome. Okay. All right. So at least he's giving himself a chance here. 
All it takes is one neutral to get it started. But of course. Lingling Ling gets the back throw once again. You know, find him some uh, some space and time with the turnip throws. Okay. Oh Ooh. wow! You really <laughs> risked that? <laughs> Yo, Odyssey's a madman. Yo, I'm saying, man, these kids have no fear. Yeah. Like when I was 16, I was afraid of everything. Of course. <laughs> You, I see Daisy Charge in the Smash Tech. I'm blocking. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> nice. right. Okay, back air getting it started. Oh, she wings sexy. That's a nice touch. That's really cute. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. The Ling Ling going to be sending this to a game three. Yeah, he's definitely in a lot more control, but I, I think Adi uh, ha started having a grasp on it. Yeah, no, it definitely looked like he started to, like, um, just kind of pick his spots better. Like, it's a lot of, like, quick reaction time when you're trying to, like, you know, counter peach in the air like that, yeah. like we've been saying. But uh, like Ling Ling just got up to such a strong start there because the damage comes so quickly and strongly from like Peach and Daisy that uh, it's a lot to react to in such a short amount of time. Of course, so. he's a combo machine. Paul Tan is just a washing machine. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> different, <laughs> different styles of life, but you get the 80 somehow. <laughs> yeah, the royal, the royal treasury versus uh, religion. Exactly. Like, who's going to come out on top in this one? All right, so you're sticking with Paulu, no Fox for this set. I like it. Yeah, I don't blame him. I feel like uh, I feel like Peach and Daisy always did like really well against Fox in general, and like Ling Ling is just like so uh, good, and also has light in his region. So like I feel like whatever Odyssey would have thrown at him with Fox would have probably been like uh, not like a, a huge surprise to Ling Ling as would be for anybody else. But absolutely, he's the same. We got Smash for here. So what do you think about this this layout uh, for? Um, in general, okay, yeah. game-wise, I don't like... I mean, it, it's cool that it's, you know, a different stage layout than every other stage yeah. we have in this game, but, like, I also was a fan of regular Smash Bros. Yeah. So I, I just feel like the platform just kind of, like, undermines, like, neutral. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird. It, it, it's in, like, a weird spot. You definitely have to play a lot of games on Smash Bros. to really get the hang of it. Yeah. You know, but I... I in terms of Adi counterpicking it, I agree with it. Right. Because it's a smaller stage, and the platform is just in one area. So it's kind of like a pseudo FD with a platform. It's just like, ha, oh, hey, I'm here. Right. You know, so it's it's a good pick. So Daisy literally can only just float there, and she has to go in or go out, and that's yep. it. You know, so the neutral is a lot more limited than when it was on Battlefield. Yeah, for sure. So literally able to air dodge his way back to the ground right there. Now finds himself in disadvantage. I love, I've been loving the use of Jump Explosive Flame. It's really from. good, but I do think that he should start trying to run off and do Nair. Oh, no, for also. sure. When Daisy's actually at kill percent from a runoff Nair, definitely start going. He'll probably start looking for that. You know, we shall see. All right, kind of risks it all with the up with the F smash right there. But you know, gonna live to see another day is Lingling. Ling. And just continuing to uh, press with these neutralers and down airs at the ledge. Adi's looking for some type of jump. He's looking for a back air to seal the stock out. If he did, so a lot of Paulus like to do uh, back air on shield and then do a rising bear, right. rising short up bear to catch any jumps out of shield. If he did that, he would have caught Lingling Ling stock. That's like kind of something that they all do. Yeah, but Lingling Ling almost getting the stock Ooh. for himself right there. Back throw not going to be enough to kill. And like you said, I think still go for these explosive planes when maybe a runoff neutral just might be the uh, answer know, he's looking for. Exactly. There you go. Back air finds its mark. So Lingling Ling strikes first in this game three. <laughs> Going under the stage because why not? You're playing a good character. You Yo, can do it. I'm saying, man. <laughs> I wish my character could do that. Right? <laughs> Spacey's man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he gets to grab. He was getting so much mileage out of empty land grab. Why is he not doing it anymore? Yeah, <laughs> Odyssey. I'm saying. Yeah. He yeah. did it before and it almost killed. You should go for it again. There you go. See? There he goes. I called it. It's definitely a really good option for characters that have to recover at a specific angle. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, it's, yeah. Especially at that high percent where like Daisy's recovery options are like far more telegraphed than they are. Absolutely. Yeah, and and just like that, he's right back. Yeah, man. Neutral and upper, like, so does a lot of damage. And I, I was saying, like, thank God that they, like, fixed the, the hit lag on neutral. Oh, yeah, because like, it, it was so slow. Like, you literally would be, would be sitting there for, like, five minutes, like, oh. Yeah, it's like Chinese water. Like, how, how am I going to follow my taxes this year? <laughs> like, you know, life questions come at you. Like, do I really. <laughs> do I want Popeyes yeah, or KFC exactly. for lunch today? Do I really want to be successful in life? Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so looking at continuing to press right now. Uh, Again, a lot of what Odyssey was doing in the first game just isn't really uh, working now. It looks like Lingling's kind of caught on. Yeah, so what Adi seems to be doing, he has a game plan, and then he, like, shifts from it mid-game. And it's, like, really confusing, right. you know? But he's he's not, like, dying for it yet. A fair will definitely take it out. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a really oh, risky recovery. Sheesh. Yeah, that, that was a very ballsy recovery right there. Yeah. It looks like he might have been trying to let the ledge cancel. Could be. But that's a lot. Again, like at these yeah. percents. Oh! Hello? 
It'd be like that sometimes. Yikes, bro. I feel, I feel the pain. <laughs> Shut up, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I started like, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, Future, that's it. Future Daisy has something like the funniest. Like it's it's literally like two sides of the coin. You have like the elegant Princess Peach, who's just all about that action, and you have yeah. Daisy who's like, yeah, I'm here, let's do it. <laughs> Daisy like, you know, Peach will get like, yeah, I'll take like a glass of wine at dinner, and Daisy's like drinking yeah. from the whole bottle. Literally, it's like, Woo! literally, it's like you take Breaks both of them to the party. Head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take both of them to, the, to a party. Who's more liable to jump off of the stairs oh, and land on that table and break it? <laughs> Definitely.